Good morning. Welcome to day 83. It's a glorious Sunday morning here in Pennsylvania and the sun's coming up. The bird song is amazing. Cup of tea and I had the shelter all to ourselves last night. It was <laughs> quite luxurious. <laughs> had bunks and everything. So it was a little odd being the only ones there. Uh, there was another guy off in a tent a little, quite a ways away. Um, but it's a little unusual for this time of year, but it was nice, peaceful, quiet. Woke up this morning to all the bird song, which was incredible. And we did not have any visitors of a porcupine nature, <laughs> which was just fine by us. There's definitely some mice in there. I could hear them dropping acorn or whatever. But otherwise, it was just a beautiful, quiet night. I could hear owls and whippoorwills. I'd never heard a whippoorwill before. Um, they were quite vocal. And off in the distance, you could hear a little bit of music. So you must not have been too far from Duncannon and uh, Saturday night and all. Somebody was out enjoying themselves a bit, but like I said, it was really soft and it was far away. So I think I also heard turkeys this morning. Did you hear turkeys this morning? Did you hear turkeys this morning? Turkeys. Yeah. Yeah. I thought I heard a little. Oh, 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 oh. Happy Sunday to everybody. I hope you're having a beautiful, relaxing day with people you care about and do something good for yourself today. I always feel like Sundays you should do something that's a treat. If you have nice weather, maybe get out for a walk in the woods on a path if you have one nearby or you know, if you live in a city, maybe take a walk in the city and put some headphones on if you want and listen to some sounds of the woods and you can imagine you're in the woods. Anyway, do something that puts a smile on your face, okay? You deserve it. You had a hard work week maybe or a long week doing whatever you had to do, taking care of other people get to take care of you. It was warm last night. Probably only went down to about 50, high 40s maybe. It was beautiful. This morning is nice. It's probably around 50. There's a light breeze. I'm catching cobwebs today, that's for sure. So I'm wearing shorts, t-shirt, and my alpaca right now. Comfortable. A lot of you have been asking about Chief. So, just want to give you an update. Chief has decided to return home. Uh, not for injury reasons, but because he wants to be with the people who he loves doing the things that he loves to do. And similar to popcorn, just um, has come to the conclusion that that's where he would rather be. And I'm sad that he left trail and that I won't be crossing paths with him out here again, but I respect his choice and I'm happy for him because he's doing what makes his heart happy and that's all that matters and he's with the people who he loves doing the things he loves it's a beautiful thing so wish him all the best and I'm sure I will 
be in touch with him along the way. And uh, I'm sad to see him leave. That's a view. Oh, whoa. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. walking through Dunn Cannon, Pennsylvania, and you can see it's a really old town. Honor all of their veterans, which is really beautiful. Yay. Hey there. Hi. Good to see you. How are you doing? Excellent. Good. Good. Just going to get some breakfast. It's good. Have you had some already? You already had breakfast? Yeah, it was very good. Good. Yeah. We were concerned, like, being Sunday, we'll definitely be able to. Is this the Doyle? Yes, it is. Ha, 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 ha. They're going to be here, but their food was excellent. Ah, nice. Yeah, that's a good breakfast over there. There's the Doyle. There we go. So many towns, little towns, all across this country. Little America is what I think of it as. Little America, where at each of these high schools, all these kids feel like it's the center of the universe. just like I did when I was a kid. I felt like where I went to high school, that was like the center of the universe, sort of. It was the center of my universe in little America. So many little towns. So the mileage that we're able to do around this area is kind of limited unless we want to tent at campsites. Unfortunately, the weather over the next few days is possible rain most days. Today's possible thunder. So a cup of tea and I were talking about just doing a I think today's like 15 miles, 
11, 4, yeah, so like 15, a little over 15 today, um, into Peter's Mountain Shelter, I think it is, uh, because there's supposed to be thunderstorms later, so we figured instead of trying to crank out miles today, it made sense to just go to a shelter, and we're probably going to be doing that over the next few days for that reason. So we did our resupply. I think I go this way, yep. We did our resupply with that in mind. We might just try and stay on trail all the way to Hamburg and then get a hotel there, shower, do laundry, dry things out if needed. But we, in order to do that, we might do a long, like a 20 plus day that day into the city. So we'll see where it's, you know, things are loose. Depends on a lot of variables as always. So trying to figure that out. But this morning we had a nice breakfast at Goodies, eggs, bacon, home fries, veggies, all that stuff is good. And then we went to kind of outdoorsy, which is a hiker hostel. Hold on. So we went to the kind of outdoorsy hostel. Let me just tell you, that place is spotless. They have tons of bunks. The bunks have like little curtains so you can pull them across for privacy. Charging stations, they have a TV, they have a lounge, they have resupply. It's not a huge resupply, but it's enough. Um, yeah, you gotta check that place out. It's a really, awesome space they have a couple bathrooms showers i think the laundry mats next door so they don't have their own laundry but highly recommend that place really cool vibe there really clean uh, you can they have like a hiker lounge so you can just literally go in there and just hang out that's what we did so we went we hung out we charged up our stuff and just because we knew we only had a little over like 11 and a half miles to do left today. So it's like, okay, well, why rush? So we did that. And then this is the trail. <laughs> it's kind of wild when it goes through towns and stuff, like actual towns. Dunn Cannon Lions Club Campground. Cool. And here's the Juniata River, Dauphin County, Pennsylvania. Check that out. That is Amy's bougie trail mix. Wow, that's my lunch. way down there this morning I believe came down from that range there maybe came down through then back over the bridges we maybe can't see them crazy this is pretty much what I've been climbing for the last hour <laughs> If you don't like rock hopping, you will not like this. It's not bad. Um, let me zoom it out. 
It's not bad, but my heels are sore. And I'm not sure if it has to do with just going from a lot of softer trail to a lot more rock on the trail. I mean, I'm a runner and my heels never hurt from running and I ran on pavement almost at the time. So I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna use my hands for this one. This is just a little hazardous. <laughs> Trying to get over all these blowdowns here. I almost bit it on another one earlier. It was huge. But I don't know, maybe they like them here for some reason. Do not like power lines, but look at that view. That's pretty awesome. You can tell there's something coming tonight with the clouds. And you can hear this ship buzzing. I'm out of here. So I've been feeling kind of melancholy this afternoon. I'm pretty homesick, actually. Uh, I think I started, oops. Jeez. Oh my God. I started feeling homesick yesterday afternoon. And I worked through it and I was a fine rest of the day and last night and this morning. But then this afternoon again, I'm starting to feel sad. I miss home. I miss my family. I miss being with my family. Um, I know Jim was just here, wah, wah, wah. But I think it's because it's the weekend and you see a lot of day hikers out with their families too. Or like in town, you know, getting breakfast. You know, it was a bunch of bus hikers in the restaurant, which was really cool. But then you see couples and families and stuff, and I just start thinking about mine. And thinking about being up at our camp and spending time up there with our family. Seeing my parents, my sister, my kids, my grandkids, sleeping in my bed, <laughs> not having to worry about every time it's gonna rain, um, and how much food I'm carrying, and how much my feet hurt. I'm really trying hard to just think about today. Just get through today. Get to the shelter. Get unpacked, get my stuff out. Have dinner. Try to have fun with the other hikers, which I know I will. Um, but I just want my family to know it's not easy to be away from all of you. I love you all so much. And you all make me crazy sometimes. <laughs> but you're mine and I love you. And I miss you. And I'm having the adventure of a lifetime. I really am. 
And it doesn't mean that I don't miss you all. Love you guys. I just stuffed a bunch of Starburst in my mouth. Maybe the sugar will equalize my mood or something. I don't know. But I think there's a part of me that's a little envious of cheap and popcorn for making the decision to go home. No, it's not that easy for me. Not that it was easy for them, because I know, I know it wasn't. Oh, someone's coming, I gotta pull it together. Yeah, there's no way in hell it was an easy decision for them. Either one of them. I don't know them, know them like their families do, but I know them enough. It's never, it's not an easy decision because you come out here. Every intention, every fiber of your being focused on that goal of completing this through hike. But I can't quit. I can't go home. I can't end this. I can't. So I just gotta cry it out and suck it up. Cry it out of my system. Focus on completing my miles today. And tomorrow will be a different day. Beautiful. Just saying to a cup of tea who came by. I'm like, geez, my I feel so fatigued. I feel so I feel like I have no energy. And she's like, Frizzle. <laughs> We've done 130 miles in a week, she said, or less than a week. She's like, of course we're fatigued. I said, yeah, but we're only doing like 15 and it's not hard terrain. It's not easy, but it's not hard. And she's like, don't be so hard on yourself. She's like, you haven't rested your legs. You know, we're sitting here calling a 15 mile day an easy day. She said, and made sense. Just, hey. So we are at the Peters Mountain Shelter and there has been a two black snake sightings and the baby has been removed from the shelter, but the mama is behind that register box. So a lot of people, I mean, when I say a lot, a lot, like there's gotta be 10 tents outside because nobody wants to sleep in here with the snake. It's not poisonous. Me and cup of tea are up there. Sergeant Pepper's up there. There's some people down here, Captain Chaos. Yeah. Yep, so we're just gonna wing it. And um, if it gets in the bag, we're gonna feed it. I'm going home. Did I say it right? Feed it? Yeet it. Yeet it. Yeet it. All right, we're gonna yeet it. Not eat it. Yeet it. Yeet. 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 Yeet it. Yeah, oh, so we'll see what happens. 
I'm branching out tonight, and I'm trying a Noor stroganoff. I'm not sure this is going to go well. I added the right amount of water, but it doesn't seem to be absorbing it, and it doesn't seem to really be cooking. So I'm going to give it a little more time to cook. I'm really hoping it works out. It's two tenths of a mile to the spring. It's 300 steps. Thankfully, last night I got water for a cup of tea and I, and so she went and got water for us tonight. Thank you very much, cup of tea, because that was a brutal trip.